my lovelies, welcome to another video. My name is Jay to the Green Witch and I help people reclaim their power spiritually, mentally and physically. Now, today is a really important subject um, that I know a lot of people will probably get triggered by, but this needs to be said. <laughs> and trust me, it's for your own good. Um, as porn, porn is probably one of the worst drugs out there in society today. Now, I call it a drug because scientifically it's been proven that the effects it has on the brain, so the effects your brain has when it watches porn is nearly identical to someone who takes heroin, the kick that they get. So basically the same parts of the brain light up out proving how massively addictive it is physically and of course mentally so it is a drug so the sooner people understand and start accepting and recognizing what porn actually is and that it does cause brain damage because it does cause severe neurological <laughs> complications within your brain the better that people can get help and start to you know, <laughs> eradicate it from their lives once and for all. Now, most people think, oh, porn, it's fine. Like, you know, it's two consenting adults shagging on camera, blah, blah, blah. What's the big deal? Well, it is a big deal because a lot of people think no one gets hurt during porn. However, <laughs> the industry, like most industries, is extremely corrupted and a lot of abuse and rape happens within the porn industry and you might think oh it's just behind the scenes etc no 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 a lot of porn that you actually watch that is posted on very popular sites such as Pornhub, RedTube etc a lot of the times these women that you're witnessing have not consented to what they're going through a lot of the time these women are sometimes drugged um, and then they get filmed and then blackmailed to you know so they're not able to take it down or they don't get legal justice um, a lot of times but most of the time these women are sex trafficked victims so there will be immigrants with no passports etc you know no uh, illegal immigrants and a lot of the times there'll be prostitutes or working within the sex industry already um, and then they'll, you know, be forced to have sex on camera, normally doing very disgusting, violent, abusive things, um, which they just have to grim and bear because if they don't, then they get in trouble or they'll get hurt physically, especially if they have a pimp or they're controlled by someone. Um, it's a very dark industry, to say the least, extremely dark. Um, and this is just a physical thing, you know, the people you know that are actually involved in the industry and a lot of even like the famous porn stars a lot of them are were you know molested and abused as children and they grow up you know with this trauma and being conditioned you know brainwashed to just exploit themselves to just only have self-worth you know within the industry so women will have you know an extreme amount of insecurity and very low self-esteem subconsciously they're wanting love and attraction and you know affection but they're so traumatized that the only way they see they can receive that is through sex is through exploiting their bodies and allowing men and whoever to literally use their bodies as a way of like affection it's a really sad thing and it's very traumatizing um so by doing this by being by watching porn you're feeding an industry that's based on, that literally rapes, abuses, and not just women and children and teenagers, but you as well. It's literally giving you brain damage, like, and that's just physical and mental aspects, not even <laughs> mentioning the spiritual consequences, which is even worse. So we need to fully understand the energy of porn and it is extremely toxic it's probably the worst thing that exists within society is the porn industry and because it's so normalized you see it everywhere 
and it's a massive weapon against the divine feminine and against the divine masculine because it is completely destroying you physically, mentally and spiritually. It is not a lighthearted thing. It is not a fun thing. It is extremely toxic, extremely toxic and such a low vibration, such a low frequency and it's a weapon. Why do you think it's free? Why do you think it's free? In 2020, in this modern society where we know everything is extortion, extortionate and nothing is free, nothing is free in this day and age. We have to pay for the most ridiculous things, like everything you have to pay for. Sometimes you even have to pay to have a piss in the toilet. So I remember in the London <laughs> uh, train station, the toilets would charge you like 20 or even 50p at one point to have a piss. Even women like having periods, why are we charged uh, for tampons and pads, etc. Like we can't help having periods, we can't help having blood coming out from our bodies, yet we are charged for tampons, etc. Why are these things not provided for us? But porn is. So you can have all the porn you bloody want, just at a click of a button. Like it's so easily available, and that's why it's so dangerous because you can literally click and it's there and you get an instant hit. That's why it's the most dangerous drug in the world. So when we get to the spiritual aspect of things, you need to understand sexual energy. So to better understand, I would recommend watching my video, The Truth About Sex, to fully have that base foundation understanding of what sexual energy actually is and how sex opens you up to things. So. But with porn, there is a lot of negative entities that are constantly around us. So you might want to label these entities as demons or just bad spirits. But we live in many, we live in a sort of matrix with many different realities, many different dimensions. Um, you kind of think of it as a radio. So a radio that has many different stations and we're on one station, so we're on like FM whatever, FM Earth, and then you have FM Astral, and then you have FM Lower Astral, FM Hell, da 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 da. I don't mean the Christian Hell, but there are higher levels and there are lower levels. So you have the higher realms, which are the light, divine sort of beings coexist within, and you can tap into that through meditation and raise your frequency, um, etc. But there are also the sub realms as above so below we live in the world a matrix of polarity light dark cold hot etc so there is the sub realms and within the sub realms that's where you get the demons that's where you get the demonic parasites the incubus the succubus the astral parasites that like to feed off your energy this is why porn is free because i mean this is a very deep rabbit hole and i can't get into it all in this video and I'll probably get in trouble if I do speak about this as youtubers you know very strict about certain things so I can't talk about that but what you need to understand is porn is put there is put out into our society for free for a reason and that reason is to lower your frequency that reason is to make you dumb weak blind away from love because porn is the complete opposite of love. It is not how, it is not sacred. It's like sex is sacred and you've been brainwashed to view sex as this very shameful, disgusting, perverted thing. And sex is not that. Sex is not supposed to be about that. Sex can be very healing, very beautiful. It can connect you to God. It can connect you to the divine. Like your semen your juices are so sacred and you've been brainwashed to just throw it away and for men especially if you keep ejaculating that is your life force energy that keeps you young that keeps you bright that keeps you focused motivated it keeps your testosterone high it keeps your masculine energy high so if you're just depleting yourself constantly by ejaculating 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 you're lowering your energy 
you're not going to be able to manifest the life you want. You're going to have a very weak aura where you are easily manipulated by demonic and negative entities to make you choose the wrong decisions, to drive you down the wrong path that will endure pain, suffering, disappointment, low self-esteem, etc. Like porn is like a <laughs> opens you to demonic attack. And that might sound extreme, but if you really understand what a demon is and you understand um, you know, the nature of the universe and the different realms that co that we all live in. Like we can't see, we can only like see, you know, everything with our five senses. But our vision is so limited. This is why certain psychics and empaths and witches, etc., can see spirits because literally you're just tuning in to a different frequency channel and then you see them or they see you. But most of the time you can't see them but they're there and sometimes they can't always see you but they follow your energy so if you're giving off an energy by watching porn you're giving off a certain frequency and that frequency then attracts negative entities and energy that vibe on that frequency also people that vibe on that frequency your whole creation of reality because everything you do every choice every bit of food you put in your mouth every thought every action emits a certain vibration it emits a certain frequency and this is why you know if you're on this path and you're a true lights worker you're a true you know you just want to free yourself from the matrix you need to take this deadly seriously if you really want to you know free yourself from pain suffering low self-esteem abusive relationships abusive um, and tr you know traumatic experiences etc you just want to manifest your dreams you want to have peace and health and wealth etc you really need to put in the work so i do recommend watching my video how to raise your frequency as I do go through this and it goes hand in hand with that but with porn it's such a corrupted industry as a whole spiritually, mentally and physically the actors that are involved the victims that are involved in it that again is emitting a certain frequency you you know some videos that you watch are actually people getting raped so that woman is actually getting raped and just because they've got a smile on their face or they're pretending like they're enjoying it, they're not, because they have to act that way. There was a story of this one porn star who was quite high up in the industry, I can't remember her name, but she committed suicide, and this is such a common thing, because she was just so traumatized and abused, and she said many of the videos that were filmed of her, they would do things during the filming that she doesn't even consent to, and they it was literally turned into a rape. Like it's not glamorous, it's not controlled, it's not what people think. Um, it's a very toxic, dangerous job to be in. And again, a lot of people and women that go to that industry are abused, they're traumatized and they've endured childhood trauma. So they think that's all they're good for basically. And men, it happens obviously with a lot of gay men, a lot of gay men are raped in the porn industry, especially, you know, young, attractive men it happens to them as well. There's a whole darker part of the industry and that involves teenagers. You know, a lot of porn that you have watched is actually child pornography because you don't know how old these girls are and a lot of the time they're sex trafficked. So you could be watching, you know, a teen porn. <laughs> Why do you think it's called, you know, teen porn? But that girl is only 13 years old but they put makeup on them so they look older, so they look like they might be old, 17, 18, but they're actually 13, 14, 15, they're underage. And what do you think that's gonna cause that young girl to become like? You know, it's such a deep topic and I will be doing more videos on this in the future. I mean, even women get heavily hurt by the porn industry because if they have boyfriends who are addicted to porn then that massively impacts the woman and this is why women it, it, it's like a vicious circle because men are addicted to porn and they're you know brainwashed to view women in a very in a very disrespectful manner literally as bits of meat and literally completely sexualize them then that has a huge mental impact on women 
because women naturally we want to be loved we want to have a partner that loves us and you know is loyal to us but if women especially young girls are brainwashed oh to get a man to love you love you and treat you with you know and actually be there for you you have to act a certain way in the bedroom you have to act like a whore you have to act like a porn star and do these very degrading you know exploitive acts that you don't really want to do or that actually hurt you physically or just you know make you feel extremely uncomfortable and that you have to do that to please your boyfriend otherwise oh he's going to leave you and go with another person another girl who will do that like it's such a horrific thing and it's happening more and more within young teenagers like some there was a huge report done where they found that the most popular porn videos in 89% of them, they all involved violence towards women. So what is that creating subconsciously in men's minds? They're linking violence towards women with arousal. So what's that gonna create? <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't take a genius to see how horrific that is. So this is gonna cause a lot more abuse in relationships this overly massively is a huge attack on women in general because men are literally just going to see you more you know in that certain energy they're going to have that very abusive perverted energy towards women they're not going to respect them they're not going to support and care and love women as they should and it's a complete opposite to how a woman actually should be satisfied in the bedroom like i study a lot on tantra and taoism sexual energy and arts and it takes a woman 40 minutes to actually get aroused <laughs> and a woman can orgasm through seven different body parts like none of this is showed on porn for a reason they just you know sorry to be graphic all violent all hard all very like aggressive all very animalistic very low frequency very you know dirty talk you know strangling the woman slapping them about slapping their breasts and then obviously doing more horrific disgusting things and that's another thing because you know porn you because it's a drug you have to keep having a harder hit to get that satisfaction to get that kick to get that pleasure just like with normal drugs the first time you have that little hit oh, such a huge effect and then oh you get immune to it you need more you need more you need more you need more just to get that same effect. And with me, I found when I first saw Paul, and I can't remember when, it was so like, oh my God, just, you know, very basic porn. But then I soon got bored. Just like with other people, and then you look for something more aggressive, more aggressive, more aggressive, more aggressive, until you end up watching fucking gangbangs, rape, you know, all sorts of disgusting, degrading, you know, such toxic things. Um, and then that can even lead, lead into hentai, which is monster porn and, you know, really dark shit. And then that can lead into paedophilia, then obviously teen porn, and then the dark web where it's full on child pornography. You know, it leads people through such a, that's why it's demonic. Like, you have to be blind to not see the energy of this. And that's why it opens people to demonic attack. And I'm no Christian, I just have, extensive knowledge of the astral and paranormal things um, as I've endured it my whole life. And I've even experienced this because my ex-partner who I was with for like five years, he was a heavy porn addict and I was doing a lot of self-work and because I was having sex with him, that energy was then transferred into me and then that manifested as me getting attacked by incubuses, which was a sexual demon and basically what they are is they're sexual demons but they're very parasitic they steal your energy they steal your life force as your energy is their food so a lot of demons will hang around people who are addicted to porn and they'll even like put thoughts in your head to watch porn watch porn watch porn and then they want you to watch harder and harder and more aggressive because they love that energy and then when you ejaculate, obviously they're getting that energy. I know it sounds so weird and crazy, but trust me, this is this is the secret that no one knows about, very rare. Um, and I know 100 million percent it's true and it exists. And 
But even if you don't look at, if you even if you don't want to believe the whole spiritual aspects of it, physically, it messes you up hugely. And I really, really recommend checking out Manchak Chia's book on sexual energy and how um, if you ejaculate your semen like every day or even like frequently, it massively has a negative impact on your health and well-being. It massively decreases your manifesting abilities. This is why, you know, most people can't seem to manifest because remember, sexual energy is creative energy. So you need that sexual energy to create things. So if you want to create a career, if you want to create your dream life, etc., you need that sexual energy. This is why sex magic, when done in a positive way, is so effective, it's so powerful. And this is why, this is what the elite know, this is what is known in society, and this is why they use porn as a huge weapon to even enslave you. Because if you are wasting your energy on porn, men and women, you're not gonna have enough energy to create your main to create your dream life. You're not gonna have enough energy to create wealth, health, happiness, abundance, true love, your soulmate, all these things that people want you will not be able to create that you it traps you it traps you in the sub lower vibrations in the sub levels where you can never break free because you're too depleted of your vital creative energy so this is so vital so vital to understand and so many people even within the spiritual community don't really talk much about this because of course they're secretly addicted to porn themselves this is why it's so imperative to truly understand how toxic porn is and do everything you can to stop watching it um, and it is getting more well known and recognized um, nowadays as what a severe drug it actually is which is great um, but even like I myself, I've witnessed what the sex industry is like because I grew up being around the sex industry. A very close family member of mine who brought me up, she, you know, worked as an escort for many years. She worked as a dominatrix. Um, and I saw the sort of clients that she would have. I even done a few jobs with her, not escorting, but being a dominatrix. And these men were extremely lost, extremely <laughs> negative to say the least. They were very um, pains. All of them were married. All of them had children. They were very confused, very, um, you know, and a lot of them had been abused. And then, you know, this is why the sex industry attracts many people who are on that vibration. So it's all connected. All of it is connected. What massively helped me um, and my partner Sam is truly understanding and learning what sexual energy is. Truly learning the complications, the dire effects that porn and negative toxic sexual um, acts have on you and others. So it is, you know, to be deep, it is a massive weapon against humanity to keep you locked as a slave and unable to break free with your own energy basically so realize that it's a weapon realize that it's not put there for your own good it's put there to benefit other people not you um, and certainly not the actors so i hope this video helps you i hope it's, <laughs> it's easy to understand as i know this is a very deep topic and um, but I will be talking more. Please check out my How to Raise Your Frequency video and the Truth About Sex video to fully understand more of what I've been talking about and to understand the links and how everything is connected. So everything is a puzzle piece to the truth. Um, but you can do this. You can do this. You can quit anything. And no addiction is helpful like really question why do you want to watch porn in the first place analyze yourself this is what shadow work is it's facing your demons facing your dark side and accepting it by releasing it so you, but you have to make the decision to release it don't suppress it 
you have to release it. And releasing it means that you have to choose to let it go once and for all, to make that shift into a different personality. Because you can change your personality, because really that's not your personality, that's an addiction, it's brainwashing. You've been brainwashed to be addicted to porn. You did not choose to be, but you can be accountable for it and let it go. So you can do this. Lots of love and light, my friends. Ahimsa.